Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsunzan campaign. We pick things up for episode 12 from turn 99 in the spring season of 210. So, since it is spring, we get to do a lot of fun stuff like reforms and faction council, and then we get hit by a lot of fun stuff like faction council. Now, they're sieging us, but uh, it's not very good. So we should be able to... Oh, right. We don't want that. We just want to delegate this for the win. Fighting it would be cleaner, but... We're just going to be... Taking the money, taking the money, and we have to unfortunately fix up the town because they sieged it twice, which is messing up our economy. And uh, we don't have money to fix everything, so we're going to have to let most of these burn. That one costs zero. It's a proportion of the building costs, so tax collection costs zero. We're going to let them burn, I guess. Like, how much worse can it get? That's much cleaner. I might summon the army just to crush the rebellion back at home. Because they are getting on my nerves. Now, fortunately, we can counterattack. We didn't level up. Uh, do we want him to try to help us capture? The thing is, he's a level 4. Right, so... If you look at his capture rate, even if we pick it up, I think that's the only percentage if we pick it up. But we can only see, we can't see the level. Oh, here it is 14%, right? Based on his level. If we get that, that'll go up to 39%. Uh, obviously, every enemy will have a chance to evade based on their level and other skills and horses and all that. Uh, Huang Gai here, being level 7. As a default personal value of 35%. Right. So, with patience, this would be higher. No. No, yes, yes, 39. 39 versus 37. Small difference, but it will actually help us out by 2%. Yeah, the only other thing I could see us going for is Intensity or Tenacity of Steel, both of which would be very helpful, but looking at our current situation, I think this would be a good move. Uh, we're at 57, he's at 48. Crushing Defeat is going to go away, Recently Higher is going to go away, and he's probably going to balance out to a bit lower value uh, based on his level. One guy is very happy. Um, we got the fondness for capturing him and recruiting him from the capture screen. So I think maybe he will end up picking up General of the Right. Because in the long run, he's going to end up happier than Yu Jin. As you can see, his Crushing Defeat will go away. Crushing Defeat is how we got them. So don't be surprised. I mean, we could probably pick up Wedge. Got it. It's time to capture them on offense. Now, uh, they're not bounced back yet, so we wouldn't be able to get the capture that we want. We would be able to knock the army off the field, killing off this initial captain retinue that they had. What happened to Yen Nao's army is my question. Did he Is he ambushing us? It, there's that possibility, which makes me feel like I should still have him lead and just wait a turn before we move again. Or we can turn around and attack them, and then try to move back quickly enough. But I'm pretty happy keeping this army around. Like, they're useless. If I knock them out, we're going to see a healthy big stack show up and attack us. No one's healing. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. So I guess we'll keep him in the lead. He has that bonus, and he also has this patience. And we'll just move as far as we can. Over here, we have our big fight against the Obey's army. We'll do that uh, probably after Action Council, assuming we see some decent ones. Campaign line of sight, chance of ambushing. I don't like those. I don't like those. I don't like these. And Taishutsu skill reset. Oh, yes, we like that one. 
Okay, so I think it's still gonna be here. I'm gonna do the fighting one first and see if I get offered something else. Now over here, someone suggested that I could potentially go down uh, some of these spying reforms over here, which would give us additional spy positions, like this one right here in particular. Uh, it's a smart move. I don't know if that's our most urgent business. Like getting level 4 state workshop, I feel like it's pretty lucrative for us as well. And then the satisfaction for sentinels is also very helpful for us as well. Uh, the unit unlock is kind of pointless. Like this... Like right now... Sure, if we see one more position... They are... Uh, there are a few advantages to that, for sure. We could steal more characters. It would be very expensive. Like, we don't have the economy to really do spying. And I need to get my economy fixed in the next seven turns. Or else it's going to be worse. So, under that backdrop, I think we don't do this first. I think we do this first. And get ourselves level 4 state workshop for money. And then after we get this, we can turn around and do these. Because level 4 is kind of where... Things tied off until we can go higher tier, even though we have gone higher tier with many of our buildings, that is true. Um, like, same argument could be made that level 5 private workshop's good. Oh, there's another good thing about level 4 state workshop. We get an industrialist, which is something we needed. Alright, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. Who else leveled up? Our son. Wonderful kid. So if you pick up a couple more skills, your brother, we're going to talk about your brother in a different way. Peacekeeper, though, not the most useful for us. But we're grooming him. We're grooming him to become a suitable heir in the future. All right, with that said, it's time for war. Now the naval generals, wait, what happened to Zheng Jiang? Oh, no, 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 I was, I was like, wow, two, two, I mean, I didn't see her on the ship, but this is the garrison. That freaked me out for a second. Uh, we're not given the capture chance because we don't see their, um, I mean, it's defaulting us to a defeat, which, nonsense. Um, but let's fight it out. Alrighty, so these salt mines are a big basin. Um, there's multiple ways we can play this. We can play where they're just the low ground and we pound them with the edge of our siege weapons and if they charge out we use the forest to burn them so like this entrance is pretty decent for us we would just need someone to kind of scout up ahead technically like i could even play an angle here you can see that like if they're even if they're here they can't hit us and we can hit them because they're lower than us so the range is going to be different but then we would just need like a unit, like say him, in the forest uh, to look at the defensive setup. Uh, we can't see them right now because the defense will deploy after we deploy, so they'll kind of answer us in a way. I don't think the AI will charge out because I think in this situation where they have a decent sized force, they're going to just defend with that force. Which, you know, is a mistake, but we'll let the AI make that mistake. Alright, we'll just play around with our siege weapons in the beginning. I guess we could put something like this here. Oh, where's our guy? Where's our scout? Do not duel and just sit tight. If we start firing at you, run away. They probably put their siege weapon in the back. Oh, right, there's another entrance here. Well... Hold on. We haven't fired yet. We can move around a little bit. You guys move back. As I said, they didn't move out. Which gives us a lot of options, like target their siege weapon first. Now if we really wanted to cheese this one, the really easy solution is, since this is a siege of a settlement, we can just fire our 19 shots 
absolutely crush most of their units and then retreat out, uh, reload the ammo, and do it again. But we don't need to do that. Uh, we can beat this army fair and square. We can even get a couple of duel with our leader here, which we will probably do after we use up our ammo. A couple gold with our ammo. We want to pound their units, which we definitely can when we miss. Because we're going to fire, you know, wide and far on some of these shots. Come on. Mm, not quite the effect that we're looking for, but you can see that one, that one ready hit them, sort of. They're moving into our range. And as I, I have mentioned, they can't hit us back because we're on the high ground, so they can't actually reach us. We do want to knock out a set of towers at least. Yeah, we definitely hit them. You can see their health. They lost a little bit of men. I can't see if I knocked down a siege weapon or not. The camera. No, I think all of them are still standing. That's okay. We're not going to give them any target to hit. Oh, that stray shot. It hit. Oh, we got one. All right, I declare myself the victor here. Let's burn down the towers with our remaining 16 shots. Oh, wait, what happened? You guys see the mass collapse of the other three? Like, I know fire spread, but like, how did how did those? I mean, is your trebuchet made of paper mache? Alright, we got that one. Yeah, their, their trebuchet is gone. These are just units. So I don't need to, I don't need to come over here. If we can just get one shot on this guy, which might take about two shots. The rest is going to be so easy. Oh, I could have moved my up. Okay, you guys win to move. Did we hit that? No, we didn't. That's okay. That's okay. Not a problem. Uh, that tree. Alright, that's our first positioning. Always stay there. I don't need you to do much. Well, since I might ask for a few duels. Alright, let's get everyone to their position. Yeah, this is a nice salt mine. Now, my question is why is the salt mine always in a basin? Like, this will be like we're fighting in the south but away from the ocean, so I'm guessing it's mountain salt. So you would have these spring reserves in the mountains where you know, it used to be, you know, thousands of years ago there was a mineral deposit here of salt or maybe it was under ocean a long time ago and these springs would have high salt content in them. And when you harvest those waters, you pour them onto these little, um, I guess, cutouts uh, in very thin layers. You let the sun go on the water, water evaporates, you get a layer of salt crystal forming on the top and then you will like uh, shave it off essentially and switch it to another pool uh, repeat the process and about a month time you get a pool of little salt and you harvest the salt and salt is a big business uh, back in this time period uh, you, you have such salt mineral deposit in your land uh, you're not allowed to privately uh, trade salt it was a nationalized resource in China uh, salt and iron are the two nationalized resource because salt is central for a living and uh, iron is central for tools and war. So those were privatized very, very early, also very lucrative. So the government could make a lot of tax money on them. So you can't 
privately trade salt or um, iron. It's very luc it's a smuggling business, right? It's kind of a mafia business essentially. Uh, if you are trading in uh, private salt, it's called siyan. Uh, plenty of people have done it throughout Chinese history, and uh, it's a risky business, but financially very, very, very rewarding. Yeah, we're just gonna set up on their doorway now, because, you know, we got the manpower for it. And the AI is too scared to come out. Now, I can't wait till we get level 6, and then we can switch over to our uh, raiders, which is just so much better. Obviously, much more expensive now as well. So that could be a problem. I would like to duel Gunny, because I don't want him to hail arrow us. He doesn't have any weapons whatsoever, so we could take him out. That would be what we want. Let's go cinematic mode. Ah, no one knocked anyone off. Politely gets off the horse. The jousting tournament gone wrong. Oh no, we have the low ground, even though we started on the high ground. But look at our weapon. You don't want to get caught with those spikes on the spear. Although historically, I mean, not for I me, mean, yeah, historically, on some descriptions, Gong Suzan's weapon was not this. He had a two-headed spear, which I can only assume is a spear with tips on both ends, uh, by that name. Uh, no description describing him having this set of weapon, which is like a combination of what's called a long ya bang, or a wolf teeth um, club and a spear, right? Because the club part of this is kind of like a row of teeth. It's a cool looking weapon though. And, uh, yeah, ended uh, Gan Ning's life. We're still fairly healthy. Uh, we didn't do that cleanly. We could challenge perhaps the other vanguard, but he has a silver weapon, so we're not going to do that. Not going to push our old body through that. We have burned officers backing us up. We can see that we fired arrows for so long. We still have so much left because of our triple burned officers just boosting us from behind. We're just going to pound certain zones with certain units and just light them up. And where else? Where else deserves a shot? Well, they got a bunch of units on this side. I don't know if they deserve a shot, though. If we soften up the cavalry, the rest could be quite simple. What is the unique archer? Oh, E archers. Right, we're fighting Liu Bei's faction. Alright, those guys are not allowed to show up. The general even took enough arrow damage to lose their health. Okay, I think it's time to push forward because we're wasting a lot of shots on the generals. If we just seal up this gate, even the <laughs> Azor dragons still have a ton of shots. We almost don't need those war dragons to seal up any weak spot. Like, look, wh where are their cavalry going to come out from? All right, move them up. Stop firing. Oh, we took out most of that. Time for them to join the fun with their 61 ammo. I think the only reason they're staying here is that they secretly know my general's here. Like, there's no reason why they have so many units on this side. Yeah, sure, they're firing back. I mean, I can probably put them back a little. They got there before they did. Oh, they're out of ammo. Right, because uh, burn officers. No, no, you two. Uh, not you. You go here, fill in your gap. You two, 
Come over here and show your dominance. We have three ammo. Yeah, we don't have to worry about them, All right? We shouldn't even try to hit range units then. Two ammo. Like, go ahead, fire, fire away. Like I said, cavalry is probably the most hard to deal with thing that they have. So if we can wipe those out. I mean, I'm so glad they nerfed uh, Caltrops, or else we'll never walk up like that. Because it used to be you throw a bunch of Caltrop, you take so much damage. Like, it will legit wipe out half of this unit. And now that's not the case anymore. Why are you guys still firing? Move up. Call you guys too. Take a look. Yeah, we're hitting the cavalry all right. Get a couple more hits here. That's why I stack current officers and recruit them. Because things like this happen where they just... We have such a big advantage. It's like we have guns and bullets and they have guns but no bullets. And we're out of artillery. You guys did well. Uh, I can go in and do some roaring, but currently, do we really need to? Let's just watch the, the aerial show. I mean, it's kind of hopeless. Unless you run your cavalry out and try to loop us, which we can see. Um, like, you can't frontal attack this. And all your units are trying to plug a hole that doesn't really exist. And getting absolutely shredded. It's like, how do they have so many ammo? Like, even the collateral damage shaved some of his health off. To the point where I'm kind of tempted, but let's not. Let's keep going since I'm safe. Safe and sound. They still have a lot of units. And we're kind of running out of arrows. So it might be the cavalry's turn to go in and finish stuff. Ooh, look at that volley. We have the high ground. I want to kill this unit, but I'm too lazy to target. I also want to kill these units. Just whoever shows up will kill. The spear being killed is a good thing. There's our cavalry go in. They have one spear unit left. They're finally moving units away. How do you feel about getting shot? You're going. All right, we're gonna send these boys up. We might charge a general up first, but I kill. Let's kill these. Do a little cool attack. Not too bad. All right, just pick off on some easy target. Oh, they went for it. He went for the dragon unit. He lost his mount. Now we kill him. Here, go capture that. Actually, no. The second we go there, everyone will run to us. Which is nice, but that's not the type of attention we need right now. Are we out of ammo? Charge. Open the path. Ah, uh, these units. Oh wow, we're getting shot. Splash attack damage? Yeah, these guys have splash damage on their attack, so it should clean up mobs pretty quickly. He's unbreakable, so it takes forever to kill him. 
Come on, just finish him. Go Suzan, go Roar. Right, we have Go Suzan, what are we doing? Out of my way, boss is here. Oh, he roared. Compared to mine? See? Oh, he's dead. Oh, the roar did get my Azure Dragons. Oh, th that one took a beating. Alright, you guys go there. I'll go roar on them. Oh, what happened to those two? Take care of that hallway. You guys grab these. How is it this far? Oh, they spread out that much? Okay, it's kind of hard for us to chase that many unit down then. Uh, the roar takes a while, so let's kill those. It's time to go, boys. Our real cavalry units. We got one spear, which I will disrupt using my horse to protect your horse. Every charge. We got waves and waves and waves. And we can roar now, right? Alright, stop chasing outside. It's suicidal. It's over. Oh my god, you failed to chase down that one guy. Alright, you two go that way. Ah, it's over. Wasn't the cleanest thing, but it was pretty fun. Alrighty, I mean, that casualty ratio, I, I, I mean, I can't complain too much. Gunning not willing to join us yet, keyword yet. Now you, you were pretty decent. You were unbreakable. You can be a Zhao Yun. We killed their leader again. She didn't drop any of those good items. Um, so he is going to be regent until their heir takes over. So Liu Bei has a son. Just too young right now. Zheng Jiang's gone. What happened to Zheng Jiang? Right? What happened to her? Like, look at how many factions willing to peace out with us. But we can't do that. Uh, we gotta keep on pushing. So they helped us a ton. Now we want to move them into a new uh, commandery because we lose money wherever they stand. So level 3. Not bad. So there's another fluctuation of leadership in that faction where we can probably steal characters. So took it on to get to us quickly so we can see if Gunning's willing to turn. Uh, I think we can look at builds now. All the armies. Oh, no, no, no. We got one more fight here. Oh, maybe we don't want to fight. That's what we're thinking about because Yanao's army mysteriously disappeared. Really could be an ambush. And we could really use the last turn of mustering here. Yeah, 
I convinced myself that we don't want to go. Um, should we lower tax rates? Does it matter? I mean, our income right now depends on the high tax and the fact that I think most of them are going to lose all their reserves next turn, so it's probably not going to matter. I am pretty happy with this new general we got. He doesn't really need a good weapon. Okay, we, we do have a ton of weapon, I realize that. Um, but, like, charge bonus is good on him. Not losing any speed is good on him. Like, the purpose of him, for us, is to make him a fast, stubborn general. Where we put him in an encampment. And that's basically another Zhao Yun. And we can defend, you know, a corner of our map just with him. Maybe he will be the guy in charge of our eastern defense around uh, either Linhai or Kuaizi. Probably Linhai. I don't think I'm going to go out. Ah, Liu Bei has that though. Hmm. Like these are all defendable by themselves. Maybe we need someone here. But after the rebels. Zhao Yun's kind of lonely now. I don't know if I can recall him because... I guess I could loop the fish port regardless. This is a really good upgrade, we'll do that one. This is a free upgrade, we'll do that one. Maybe Zhao Yun's talent is wasted here. Alright, I'm going to recall him. I want this. And if we recruit any armies, we'll have to recruit it from here. Because of the inspector bonus. Ah. We need to fix our capital. And have a better gauge on what is our actual income at this point. Because we're making less when the buildings are burning, obviously. We spent everything there. We still have money. We're going to be fine. It's warning us, but we will be fine. Uh, wrong place. I'm going to summon the army just to eliminate them. Because they're causing a little bit too much disturbance at this point. So she will proxy for us. She has the best capture rate. Uh, she could use the level up. She's poison volley. Go away. Tribal Exile, so in the future it would be quite nice. I would want her to have stealth, but the best way to get it probably at this point would be to come down from here. Alright, you guys did great. Now go back and rest. Right, so I think that's good. We also got more money from that fight. Look at how much money we got from that one fight. Which means... Which means we can't build anything. <laughs> yeah, well having a little buffer is better than nothing. So let's end turn and see how things go. We'll let them off the hook. Give him one turn to bounce back so that we have a chance to actually capture him in the fight. Or we just let him... Mm, it's more about the ambush. I don't know where the army is, so let's continue. Guess what? Telpi and Yuan Shao both had enough the alliance of the Hush Wind. It's a huge alliance. It includes Yuan Shao, Liu Bei, who's his vassal, Gong Sun Du, Han Fu, Liu Dai, Zhang Chao, Zhe Bu, Tao Pi, who is his ally partner, who has Sun Quan as his vassal, and Liu Chong, giving us the peace deal. They had enough. But unfortunately, this is a, this is total war, so uh, we keep going. All right, other people are piecing out. Supplies destroyed. Stockpile ruined. So yeah, you know, relationship is just, just 
this population and public order just never gonna improve. Zhengjiang left by herself because the leader switched again. And you can see the grudge. So they were first destroyed by Yuan Shao and then they joined Liu Bei and then they were dissatisfied. Well, welcome to the party. Did you bring your axes? Yes, good girl. <laughs> we ran out of money. <laughs> That's okay. We had enough of the most important one. But this just means we have to fight, right? Our economy is based on post-battle loot right now, essentially. So we do have to fight quite a bit if we want to stay on top of things. Igmatic. Okay, our wife is getting mysterious on us. They pulled back. I, I don't know where they went, but I know I know this is one target I can safely attack right now. So um, let's see if we can capture him. Oh, capture rate. 2%. Ah, 2% higher. It's fine. There's nowhere for him to retreat. It's going to be an army wipe regardless. The green dragon crescent blade. This is a gold weapon, gold weapon, gold weapon army. Oh, I should boost my uh, Imperial Intrigue. There we go. Oh? Huh. I'm a little surprised to find them here. Obviously. Another chance of Suren and Zhou Tai. Yan Bai Hu being the lead is probably correct. What is our capture chance on him? It's under personal... 60%? It's, it's, it's high. The escape chance is like, we see around, for him, level 7, 37%. We should have at least some sort of percentage with her, right? It's going to be a, not heroic victory. Maybe it is going to be heroic. We have very few units in that army. Like, she has no escape chance on the horse. What's her escape chance? 12%, right? Take the difference. We're at 48. Add on the base value for... You know, heroic victory. I think we'll capture her. I don't know if she'll come over and join us. They married her off. We can divorce her. We can, you know, divorce for her. His escape chance is at... He's higher levels. I'm guessing it's higher. 16%. Not that high. We, we, can, we can do this. We can do this. Oh. I forgot to check council. I could have rerolled Taishit's... Oh, that's such a silly mistake. We only had a thousand. We probably would only rerolled, so we missed out on the reroll, which means he'll probably end up as administrator. I mean, it's not a total loss. Um, he's a decent administrator. Surprisingly happy. I keep the sword. Oh, this is helping. I'm not surprised you're mad. Two. I mean, the easiest solution, yes, I have understood that it will activate the turn after. So we're going to coil dragon her. We drop it by 24 here. Recent event will time out eventually. Recently higher will drop. Oh, it's risky because recently higher will drop. Ah, but promotion should instantly give her a boost of 10 points recently promoted. So that should keep her with us, at least for this turn. Well, the good news is we can probably reroll her either trait or skill soon, which is something I am looking forward to. I don't have a great position for her right now. Yeah, I, I really don't. We're almost Duke. Hmm. Yeah, we're almost Duke. Anyone home? No. Okay. We'll mess up their economy. Look at our money. Should go up after they end their turn. 
Oh, it's not being refreshed, but it should, because it's punishing the, the income here by 15%. Uh, we need to put them to good use. We don't have the money to put them to good use. It looks good, but it's it's not good. Um, so expanding is the way we have to do so. Like If we control the south, I definitely will have the economy to make things work. Now, do I have to summon an army to just wipe them this turn? Probably. It'll probably take care make things easier for us. Although, we can let them sit for a couple of turns just to fix our public order. Yeah, why don't we do that? Until they become a bigger threat, we'll just let them sit there. They need to go back. They are encamped. Not worry about that. We already moved them. Unhappiness is Zheng Jiang. We have an open spice. Let's take a look at that while we have cash. I'm sure Gan Ning might be unhappy. Ah, uh, no. Hmm, that defeat didn't do him in. I'm not gonna hire a nobody in Cao Cao's faction. Especially since we haven't really engaged with Cao Cao in a couple turns. Or Cao Pi in a couple turns. So we will spend the money on development. So Ejo is still our highest income. 5% corruption right now. We're going to level 3. We're hoping to get to level 4 so we can get that industrialist. So that will come. These are building... I would like Lumberyard to go up to level 5, which we have the reform for. We need an industrialist. We're about to get one soon. Then we get minus 2 construction for everything here. So that will just take time. I guess I cancel do more than enough time, so I guess we'll we'll just build that up. This will wait. I haven't got shaft mining yet, so it's not exactly cheap. All right, let Sunren give us another shot. So this is our shot of Sunren here. We're gonna get it right. Um, they once again only brought one archer unit, and they don't have fire on that one. So. We're going to sacrifice these two, unfortunately, again. And then it's going to be kind of a stalled out fight for the rest of it. We might be able to end it faster than 40, given the army composition. Actually, it's kind of healthy. It's kind of hard to kill this many guys with towers. Uh, we'll show it, I think. Ah, no, I'm going to cut it out. It's kind of a waste of time. So we'll see you guys then. Alrighty, so we beat them before 40 minutes, and uh, heroic victory, got a builder, Jotai, ah, still thinking about it, okay, keep thinking. Administrator of Danya. Hmm, I don't really want Jotai to get a friend. He's Oathorns with Huang Gai. So I don't want to execute her either. Armor's not worth it. Money. Alright, they're piecing out. Um, I don't really care. So this is interesting, they came right back. And we would need to march to get back, or... We give them the Zhao Yun treatment, which might be cleaner. And we have a couple options for the Zhao Yun treatment, but I feel like Yuan Shao deserves the original. Since Zhao Yun kind of made his name very, very early on by fending off Yuan Shao. There we go. And then they don't have to march, and uh, we can just try to retake that in two turns. Or I can even have them come over, because we have this situation here. And we will probably just want to attack them and try our shot with capturing. No one's on their last one, except for her. She dies, she dies. 40%, 61%. Come on, fingers crossed. It'll be decisive. Decisive, obviously not as good as heroic. But we can't really generate an offensive heroic, so this is the best we can do. Come on. Jotai's still thinking. 
放他们一马。虽然 still thinking， 我也有仁慈的一面。There's plenty of territory that they have left, so there's plenty of opportunity for us to get them in the future. All right, there's no need for breaks here, and I don't even think we need to actually fight this. We'll delegate this most likely. Yeah, even if it's medium, it's fine. A couple hundred. I think we can't replenish in a few turns. 子城归我军所有了。All right, this is definitely helping income the most. Expanding, expanding, expanding. Bad building for this place. Bad building for this place. But the thing is, these three buildings both reduce the building cost of purple buildings, and we are going to build a ton of purple buildings. So we'll keep them. We don't have the reform to swap, which is what we would like to do. This is the wrong building here, so we're gonna demolish this. I'm gonna keep this at two because eventually we're gonna demolish that as well, and then we're gonna pop out a administrator. So since we weren't able to reroll his skills because it just didn't happen, he's gonna be a good administrator for us, which is something we need anyway. So I'm not gonna complain too much about. Well, it's it's my bad. I missed it. That's totally my bad. It's like something very important to do in the spring, and we just got caught doing some other stuff, and then we did never came back to it. Oh, this is the problem though. He doesn't have any good traits for this. He has the skills already, but he doesn't have any good traits. This is a bandit. That's a bad choice. Druga now has great traits, but probably even better bonuses. 10% campaign movement is pretty good. So eventually he'll make the top tier. He's not going to pick up these skills. So either we use her for this or we fire her because she's just eating up salary and not doing anything. Like he's at least semi unique. Okay, we're firing her. Bandit. What if we kick you from being heir and make you administrator? How do you feel about that, son? And then we make your other brother the new heir. The whole faction will be elated. It'll go from plus two to plus nine, plus five, plus fourteen, and then plus six public order, which is a tier of tax rate. Ooh, getting tempted just thinking about it. Um. Oh dear! See, you even have a administrator item already on you. He's gonna hate us. But it's happening. Although that means we can't summon him for capture chance, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> How bad is it? Uh, first, let's put our air in so that his authority at least make things happier. We're gonna get you swinging, my son. Don't worry. Ah,、uh, he's playing the hide and go seek game because he just got assigned. Um, we can find him from our family tree. There's nowhere to hide. Okay, ninety four to sixty seven. Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. 
So one thing I do want to confirm is that with my son, Gong Sun Xu, where's where's our other son? Gong Sun Yu, okay, Yu uh, as in the universe. Okay, good name. Gong Sun Xu is actually pretty interesting too because Xu is continuation. Continuing the clan. All right, we did give a couple general crushing defeat, so there is a chance. Oh, Yang Xiu, who is working for Sun Quan, historically should be working for Cao Cao. Historically, probably it's already executed by now, but <laughs> um, I do want to mess with Zhou Tai and uh, Sun Ren's on this, so I'm gonna splurge here. They're knocked out. The crushing defeat stacks. She was leading it. Now I can't commit any action against her until she's on the field again. They're very weak, as you can see. They have one army, basically. Two armies on the field. Okay, we can do some things here. We'll save points until Thurin gets summoned again. Like I see Chen Pu stack. So they have another army of one general somewhere. Because we see four generals on the field. Maybe it's administrator. No, it should just be a general on the field. Hmm. Well it definitely provides us some options. Right, we need this industrialist unlock. My son gifted us an extra assignment because he has that skill unlocked. Which means either we can give her something to do, because she's the one I'm thinking about firing. Honestly, there's plenty of generals we can give something to do. It doesn't have to be her. She's actually not that important. Like, she doesn't have any good trait. Yeah, we captured her, but it's not like she's happy with us. Like, there's fondness, but it's not like lack of purpose is kicking in, desire for higher office is kicking in, she doesn't have any income trait. I can find someone better. Fire. Oh, she has the units, that's why we hired her. Or two archers, and... Mm. Alright, if that's the case, we let her do assignment. Who has the highest commerce? It's probably not high. Yeah, it's not hot. So what she can become useful for is that we can use her for instant mustard units, either for defense or for fast deployment of units we actually want by flipping them to another unit after summoning them. So both are options we have. Now we did get extra army slot. Do we want to utilize that? I cannot run you out of the settlement fast enough. Uh, I don't want to march them. That would not be smart. So I guess we'll just keep them here. We still have a decent amount of money, surprisingly. War pace. Um, we can get adjacency, corruption reduction. Corruption starting to tick up. Not that bad yet. We would like a private workshop. Maybe we would just upgrade that instead. Free is free. Oh, right. We talked about this. This is going to get demolished soon. So we're free is free, but not needed. All right. We're good. Let's continue. All right. Zhao Yun's going to show Yuan Shao a good time. Maybe this is another execution of leader situation, but we'll see you guys at the end. They don't have that many men, but a lot of cavalry, so we got to be careful. I don't remember them packing fire because they're using crossbow mostly. Yeah, he doesn't. There's no way he can pass on. He could, but he doesn't have it, so uh, let's just beat them. Alrighty, I actually am wondering whether we get experience for this type of battle. Because we don't kill anyone, but we do capture a bunch of people. Oh my god, this happened. Uh, we only get the colonel, which I don't care for. I want the axe. The axe can be 
dueled up with the uh, Raymond, and we can actually give our son a plus 10 satisfaction set bonus. Uh, but the chaos we can cause. Do we get garlic? Ah, huh, off with your head. You can stay, because this satisfaction hit. This is really rough. I'll take a kernel. I'll take a kernel. Oh, just as we recall Zhao Yun, they send an army to attack us from the waterways. It's a rather weak army. Um... We're gonna obviously fight this. I'm just thinking how we should fight it. We'll, we'll debate it once we get into the battle. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here and they spread out their forces. So the easiest way to fight this one, or the correct way to fight this one, uh, if you want to call it correct, is to divide the forces in half. So we can do it evenly if we want. Um, I mean, they're not kind of even in terms of health, but you get the idea. And we want to send one to the left and we want to send one to the right. And we're going to use the vision of both um, to kind of push and pull them because they, they like to stay together. That's really the AI's biggest weakness. Um, now, could we stand here and defend? We could if they didn't have three generals. Like, that's kind of suicide if we stay here and defend the fact that they have three generals. So we're not going to do that. That's not an option. So they're gonna go to a corner and they're gonna go into a corner. Now you'd be like, there's no trees to hide. Well, the point is not really to hide. Uh, the point is really to make the AI make a decision, right? They're gonna try to gather up. They send a small detachment to do what? Follow us? Then we, we hug the ocean real quick. Or this is the Ainsi River. And uh, they're gonna go back. Yeah, and then we're gonna go here. And these guys are going to go... They actually have trees on this side. Now because we have trees on this side, we're actually going to keep one unit like right here. And the point being is that they're completely out in the open, so most likely the AI is going to push towards them. All right, they're going to get shot along the way. That's how we win this fight. And his job is to pull them back. They can't see him, it's so far away. We'll just be right right here. And they're getting shot on the way. These towers are will probably do the most damage. And the idea is we just get vision from over here. They see us? No? They don't see us? The fog is that bad? Well, if they don't see us, it's a different story. But I think they will see us soon. Well, they actually don't see us. Oh, they see us now. That unit became visible. So as you can see, once they see us, they line up and they're trying to charge. They're, they're charging, charging, charging until we walk there. And then you can see them. 180 turret, 180 turret, gotta go back. Someone's taking our place, someone's taking our place. And then we shoot, shoot, shoot. Move him off. And they should be turning now. Okay. And then we just wait. Let them take the full damage. One person's almost dying. They're trying to get close to our second group, which can now face them like this. And when they get out of our range, which has already happened, we go right there. And they come back into our range, and just when they get close, we'll pull away. Uh, it's obviously a slow method, but with the shape of the, you know, next to a river, this is the best way to do damage. Only one set of towers will be doing that damage, unfortunately. Alright, time to back off. And they're just gonna take a turn. 
and a few rounds of this and they'll be all dead. We can wait till they line up, formation all set, get ready to charge us again. Feel free to come back. Yep. And if you want to keep your units alive, you can always tell them to... Oh, we can't retreat because garrison. Right, then we, we would just have to keep cycling this to make sure they stay alive. Uh-oh. Bad command. User error. Let's call him three. He's a special unit. Easier to keep track of him. Oh, a few of them went in. As long as it bounces back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one has fire arrows? And didn't do any fire damage to our outside towers? Because? Charge! We need to eliminate them to pull them back to... Uh, but we need to do fast. Okay, get out. Ah, they also have some Qingzhou units. That could be bad. That could cause a lot of burn inside. He's visible. He needs to be invisible now. Find some shrubs, find some trees, get out of here. Alright, now we have a new show. We have the opposite show. Where they're ignoring these boys, which they will ignore for a long time. We're gonna go over here. We can probably fight them now. The settlement damage is a little bit unsettling. But they're confused. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, go out. Yeah, the Qingzhou units are burning our entire town, which is not cool. We have this set of towers, which I think we can use. And then we can keep like one guy here to capture that one when they make the turn. Fight us here. Oh, they see him. They're coming, they're coming. Need to be here. Pull them away a little. Capture it, capture it, capture it, capture it, capture it. That should freak them out a little to go back in. I just want that tower. It's back. You don't think we can kill you? We have a tower. There we go. Ah, we did lose the tower though. We can fight them now. This number, if we still lose. I think we win. Well, oh, they also sense those units coming in, so they're gonna turn around. Hold on, this requires some microing. Spear units, clog it up. Fire that one, fire that one. Yeah, just brace. You guys are fine. Alright, clobber him together. Alright, 
one unit brace is better. Here, second layer brace. Some shots to soften him up. But most importantly, you probably want to shoot them. Or even them. Alright, we need a second layer for the general. Flank them. Come on. Charge into her. Fire will. Ooh, this side might not go so well because they're getting shot by archers. Overwhelm the general. There we go. Fire back. Go back to defend our units. Hey in here, hey in here. It's better be our. This is not our captain. Right, at least we shut down one source of fire. Where did this guy came from? Came from the flanks. Okay. We'll be okay. They made it. Go get that invisible guy. Come over here. That's right, he should just auto route. He has five seconds before he auto routes. That's a win. We did it! We held. Took some shenanigans, but we got it done. Alrighty. So, no captures, just straight to income, which is fine. They want to try our lumberyard too? Sure. Yeah, sure. Alrighty, so um, they're attacking from one side, which is the worst way to do this. Uh, we're going to be escaping from the other side. We'll leave them a little bonus for their cavalry units. That's it. Everybody out. Because of the shape of the lumberyard, the fact that there's always a ton of trees in the lumberyard is actually super easy to get the win. So these are our slowest units. Captains are heavily armored and they are quite slow. So we're going to send them off to a corner somewhere. Everyone else that's fast can go the other direction. We'll do this on three times speed. Oh my god, AI routing is terrible. Come out first. We got exposed. Of. We're the last ones to have vision on the map, which means we probably need to leave a couple fast guys here. There are two. Their job is pretty simple. See if they can stay hidden here. We'll call them three. Looks like we can stay hidden here. So I think the last units the AI saw are these. So they're probably going to go that way. And by the way, Jiang Qiu is leading this. He used to be the faction leader of Nanhai, which we wiped out. So all is fair. Yeah, I think they're going that way. I don't know, they're not really shooting. I don't see arrows. Yeah, they're searching for them. Searching. I think the last place they saw them was like over here. Uh, for safety reasons, we're gonna move farther and farther away. They're just searching now. They lost sight. They never saw us. Okay, if that's true, they're gonna scout. 
And the AI, when they scout, they scout in a very limited area. So like, say this is the zone. Like, we're kind of close to them, a little bit dangerous, but not really. You can see them fan out and then condense again, and then fan out and condense again, because they're afraid to go too far away from their last known spot where they saw us. That's going to continue for the next 30 minutes until we get a draw here. Um, I'm not going to dream about beating this army because that's kind of hard. So we're going to just go for the draw here if we need to. Oh, they're changing tactics. They see us. So now the last known site is over here. So we might actually be able to wipe them out because they, they're moving again. We will condense ourselves here. And here comes the tricky part. So they're technically our fastest unit at 34 speed, 34, 30. Ah, oh, we should have kept some Z militias around. They have 38. These guys have too much armor. Hmm. Oh no, they're capturing this one. Bummers. And they might actually run into us. No, I think they'll hug the wall. I oh, guess we have to keep moving. All right, we'll go to the corner. They're going to follow us to the corner until we... I don't want to move out too fast. And yeah, they're still rerouting. Uh, these guys rerouting is not good. They're going to interfere with us. Let's only use one. I don't want to get the other guy killed. You stay here. You're safe. Don't risk your life. Alright, they're catching up to them. We gotta get get into here now. Too close. Too close. Uh -oh. Not good. That's why we don't put our eggs in one basket. So now they're engaged in combat. It's kind of hard to pull them off of the engagement. They wouldn't, like, say, stop fighting just to go back. So, yeah. If they're engaged in combat, it is what it is. These guys will just have to fight for their lives. Uh, so in that case, we just we just run. We go. Hmm. We go here. Oh, some of the enemy ran. Oh come, cavalry ran to our spears or something. Run to our spears, please. I can kill these. Yeah. Uh, until we got flank charged. The generals are... Oh, they just want to flank charge us. Feel free. Yeah. So now we gotta be just pretty much stationary the rest of the game. Uh, he's out in the open, they see him, they're gonna go to him. And then our job over here is just observe them walking towards them. I mean like, when we're at the four corners, it's gonna take them longer than 18 minutes to traverse the four corners to get all of us. The only way we lose is a morale shock, and that only happens when we have like one or two units on the map, so that's why we kind of buddy system in most situations. We're fine. Yeah, we can cut out the rest. We're not going to lose this. It would just be a draw. We're going to have to find an army, probably summon one in Hluff 8, and then march them down, take care of this. Maybe this is time for our official second army, or third army, technically. Third army, yeah. We have a second army already. Hmm, wonder who's going to be in this army. Zhuge Liang. Zhang Fei. wonder if Zhang Fei and Zhuge Liang gets along. Anyways, uh, we'll cut to the end. They'll march over there. I'll show one of them just to pull them back in time. Hopefully, hopefully, actually in time this time. I'll move my closer. Yeah, I'll move it right next to it. And uh, that already. Wait, wait, wait. How do they see that? I'm not visible. Now I am. Hmm. Tower is actually getting them. Maybe I'll win this one. I just keep them in this area by showing both sides. Yeah, like, see, I show this side, make them come across those two towers. And then I go back hiding. And then if I pull him out just, 
just when they cross these two towers. Okay, there's still hope of winning, so let's let's play out the rest. 11 minutes? Maybe. Because obviously when we approach this, they will turn. See them dying. They, they, they know where he was. Okay. Maybe we don't need a third army. You can save money on development, which is what I prefer to do. I, I don't want to go out now because then they would just come inside and we lose our chance of winning. I want them to move to like this corner and then charge out so they come back and get hit. Go, 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 go. That timing needs to work. Alright, they picked up this water already. They're already moving back. Which means when they move back close enough, I need to show over here again. Don't capture our towers! Look at me, look at me! Yeah, there we go. They see him. But I'm more important. I'm a threat. I wish I had these towers. Okay, they're coming back, but I don't think I can... Mm, it would be a draw, but they lost a lot of units. We're gonna go this way. We still have towers there, if we can get a couple shots on them from there. Or even here, because we have two sets of towers here. Some overlapping damage in this area, if they come out of this gate. And maybe make a play on them. Maybe with his help. The generals are still super healthy, which is not a good news situation for us. That's shooting as best as it can. This just started picking up. Alright, they picked up that command. Yes, come back to us, come back to us. There's, there's, there's actual hope of actually winning this. One minute? Okay. Charge, 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 charge. Okay, it'll be a draw, but uh, we need more time. Yeah. Maybe just five more minutes we would have won this. Well, draw's okay. Not the worst. Alrighty, we still get some money. Um, They might be pulling off the siege. No, they didn't. Well, I think I might be a delegate. Alright, so right now, uh, our situation, it looks like everyone's shifting their attention away from the south. I think the south is pretty much one. Uh, we know Sun Quan has one stack, and we kind of knew where it was. He has officially built his second stack, and maybe even his third. And they're ready right away. But guess what? That's the opening I'm waiting for. We're discrediting their heir, who's at... 67, we dropped them by 25, or 30, 37, what's our chance of turn, oh, they got Bu Lan Shi, so that's, uh, Bu Lan Shi, that's, uh, his historical concubine, yeah, they just summoned so many generals, I mean, this is why we hired Yang Xiu, so we're gonna do it, and then I'm gonna disown him right off the bat, to see if I can grab her, no. So I guess another battle is up ahead uh, against her to convince her to join us. We can finally maybe get to Yuling. Hmm. Not quite. So lots of action around this. We're no longer being sieged, but you can see Yuan Shao has a full stack here. That Hodun's also kind of near. We're going to summon our new Vanguard General, Stubborn Vanguard, to help us uh, defend this with um, the fort? Yeah, he's backing off. He can't beat that. They have a couple of stacks. Zhang Yan's even here. No one wants to touch us because we have this full stack here. So if we can just send someone to defend... We can send our wife, who's also stubborn. Stubborn strategist. 
that can also kind of work here. Yeah, we got the nice garlic going. Johnny has another army. They're setting up in Sindu. We'll push up. Can we push this up? No, we can't. So if we don't have movement, yeah, I guess we'll just end the episode here. We're going to slowly take out Sun Quan in the next couple turns. That's kind of the goal. He eliminates Cao Cao's territory down south so he can't start, stop summoning people so close. Because then we push him back to pretty much here. Uh, which still opens us up to coastal attacks. Um, we don't have to be too stressed about Hefei because, you know, it's not super essential for us. It was just kind of a distraction thing. Uh, but if we could score some victories here, it would be nice. Yeah, I would like to see them try to take it. It would be interesting. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and see you guys next time. Bye!